So we're at the Merced Market in Mexico City, and I'm here with my friend Rocio and Ariela. And we are at the bug stall. So why do people eat bugs? So this is a pretty Hispanic tradition. Uh, we have been eating bugs since forever. And these are from Oaxaca. Okay. The taste is amazing. It's called chicatana ants or flying ants. Flying ants? Yeah, they're right. amazing. These are the grasshoppers. We usually eat it in Oaxaca. And this, these little bodies are called coco patches. They usually grow in avocado trees, so they are fed with avocado leaves. So they taste really delicious. Okay, I'll try the beetle. So they also say that this is, it's a better form of protein, especially for environmental purposes. So it's instead of you know eating meat, for example, you eat a bug and get the same thing, same you know nutritional benefits, and it's less harmful to the environment than say I don't know a farting cow. And you get a hakuna matata. Mm. It's good. It's not bad. This one was kind of hollow in the center, so it's really just crispy and salty and tasty. And then these are the flying ants. Flying ants? They make a sauce with this. All right, it's like a little round beetle. Look, looks like they make a special sauce with it. Oh. Have, they should have these at bars and yeah. peanuts. They're really good, right? They're great. If somebody didn't tell you it was a flying ant, it would be perfect. You would eat them by the ton. Trust me, that was really... Hold on, I'm going to have another. It's great. It's like, um, it's like a roasted nut or... Yeah, anything you would find at a bar. It's great. Are these maggots? No, they're maguey worms. They're the worms that grow in the... They live in the agave plant, or the maguey. Okay. The maguey has two kinds of worms. Oh, so this is, this is the one that they in, find in the, in the, in the exactly. bottle. Exactly, but this is fried. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we call it chiliquiles in Spanish. They actually taste like um, really light fries, like actual potato fries, but... They're lighter and they're airier and they're delicious. Alright, let's try a cricket. I'll try a big cricket. Oh, that's good. Oh god. Alright, and if I eat that little thing on the end, is that gonna pierce my stomach? No. Because this is little. If you eat this one, it's one is a thing. I don't like the scorpion. <laughs> no, it tastes a little like weird beer. What about a roach? Right. I, I don't like the roaches, but you can try them if you want. I won't. I wouldn't tell you what to like or not. But it does make sense, you know. If you've got roaches in your house, you clean them and eat them <laughs> for snacks, I guess. Yes, I love a Kafka as snack. <laughs> Camila loves insects. I, I she will eat it. Okay, I can't feed a child a roach if I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. Half, 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 half. Do you want the legs or the body? Okay, you want the body? Alright, go for it. I cannot be outdone by a two year old. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. You like it? <laughs> 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 it's not very tasty. There's nothing there. It's, it's like, just crunchy, right? It's just the idea you're eating a roach. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try a crawdad instead. It's still in my mouth. I can't get rid of it. It's like eating. It's like when you eat uh, pumpkin seeds, and you can't get rid of the the shell of the seed in your mouth. Just with vodka. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Get that like carcass out of my teeth. Hold on. Right. Perfect. Follow it with the crowd ad. Alright. You're my hero. Alright. That was the first time I've ever shared a roach with a two-year-old. And the last. 